This is how you can easily install and play Minecraft in VR on your Quest headset. With the process now being much quicker than it used to be, while also including some insane upgrades. Like going from 45 frames per second to 120, which is a 169% increase and will give you so much smoother gameplay. And also bringing an improved mod compatibility to let you install all the mods that you desire. Meaning that with this, it is now finally possible to play Minecraft on your Quest 3 directly or on any other headset from Meta. So let's dive right into it. Firstly, it is important to keep in mind that while the Questcraft app that lets you play Minecraft inside VR is a port that is completely free, you will still need a copy of the official Minecraft, Java and Bedrock edition to be able to play it. And if you don't have it already, you will also need a Microsoft account when you try to download it for the first time. So once you got those, it is time for the second step, which is to sideload the application called Questcraft onto your headset. To do this, you need two things. One is you need access to SideQuest either through the desktop app on your PC or from inside your headset if you have it installed directly. And the second thing is that you need to have developer mode switched on. Now this developer mode setting also gives you access to a bunch of other awesome features for your headset. So you definitely should have this enabled either way. And the same is regarding SideQuest. But if you don't have these yet or don't know how to get them, then I will link a step-by-step -step guide for both turning on developer mode as well as installing SideQuest in the description below. But don't worry, the setup is pretty easy. And on top of that, SideQuest can give you access to a huge library of games besides just Minecraft that you can often sideload completely for free. So it is great to have. And for those who are using the SideQuest desktop app, do make sure your headset is connected and also plugged in by checking in the top left corner for the green icon. This of course is not needed if you do it from within VR. But once you've opened SideQuest, just type in Questcraft in the search bar and simply click on the pink button that says sideload. Now it can also be that at the time you're trying this yourself that the sideload storefront is looking slightly different. This is because they are making some big changes regarding the user interface and how everything looks. But the principle will be the exact same. With after you clicking on the sideload button, it will directly install the game onto your headset with no additional things needed. But to find it, you will have to head over to your app list inside your quest and click on the drop down menu to select the unknown sources tab. Here, you will find Questcraft that you just installed. Click on it to open it up and you will be brought to the sign up page. Now, once you click on the sign in button, you will see a text box that tells you to use your web browser and open the page of microsoft.com slash link while also entering the given code to be able to log in. To do this, you can of course either use your computer, but an even quicker method is to do this directly inside your headset with your meta browser. Go to the given address, copy the code, and log in. It is as simple as that. Of course, it might ask you to do some extra steps to make sure that it's actually you who is signing in, like you have on any other platform. And although there have been some cases where people get the screen saying something went wrong, you don't have to worry at all if you get this too. Just close the tab, click on the sign in button, and you should be able to play the game without any problems. And at the moment, Questcraft is on update 5.0. And while it might be higher once you get your hands on it, it is this version that unlocks some things like the previously mentioned 120 frames per second, as well as many huge performance improvements. And finally, making it possible to be played on the Quest 3, where beforehand, it was actually only possible to play it on the Meta Quest 2. And thanks to all these big improvements, it really makes Minecraft an absolute must play VR game, but make sure that you are on the latest version of the game before pressing the play button, which at the moment is 1.20.4, because when you click on play, it will start installing the newest version of the game, which can take up to about a minute. So while you're waiting, or if you're having any other problems during this process up until now, then just leave a comment below and I'll make sure to help you out. But once it is finally finished, click on play and start the game. Now once inside of it, you have access to everything that you're normally using used to from multiplayer to single player, as well as lots of options to tailor the settings to your personal preferences, making this all together the easiest and quickest way to fully get Minecraft running on your headset, including mod support and possibly the best performance that you can dream of. But that's not all, because if you want to know how you can install some other amazing VR games through SideQuest, then click on the video that you see on screen right now to make sure you don't miss out. And of course, stay awesome.